have you ever thought of inputting something during runtime of a program in Python? Do you want to know how to use it, how to work with it, how to create a program where you enter your desired data? Well, that's a question that I'm going to answer today. So stay tuned till end. Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to speak about input function that what is an input function in Python and how we can work with it, right? So as it name denotes that this function is going to input something, right? So of course, you're exactly right. This function is basically going to input something, anything that can be anything. But keep in mind that during the runtime, it's basically inputting from the user during the runtime of a program, right? Keep that term in mind during runtime. So, well, that's clear. An input function is actually inputting or getting values, extracting values from the user. Now the question is, how can I use an input function, right? So let's do the entire method. So simply type in input and then empty parenthesis, right? So that's an input function. If I run this code, a program will be in a waiting state. It will be waiting for me until I enter anything, any value. That's up to me. So let's run this program and see what's going to happen. Let me run it. And now, as you can see, the program is definitely waiting for me. I have to enter something, then the program will be terminated. So if I enter something like hello, right, the program successfully terminated. Well, it's quite beautiful, right? So now here's another point that I want to raise. It's also taking an optional argument. Well, what is that? Ar what is that argument? You can actually, a, uh, I would say you can actually give a message to the user that what he has to type in in this input function. So suppose I say enter name. So if I run this program, I will have this message during the runtime, and it will also be waiting for me to enter my name or anything. So this is just a simple message. You can write anything uh, enclosed in double quotations here. So let's run this program and see the result. So as you can see down below here, guys, it's it's uh, waiting for me like I have to enter something because I've used input function, right? And there's also a message as enter, enter name. So this argument actually can be helpful when you have so many inputs in a program it's good like you have the message you know already it's it's you know it's guiding you right it's guiding you what to do so enter name so suppose my name is john that's it the program terminated successfully now here is in another point that i would like to raise that what is that being considered when I entered my name here? I mean, what is the data type of this object? Is it a character? Yeah, for sure not a character because a character uh, data type uh, is, is basically a single character. So is that a string? Could that be an integer? A floating value? Like, let me show you. If I enter two here or five, what is that five? Is that an integer or a string? Let me clarify you. An input function, whatever it gets, whatever the user enters, is always and always considered as a string. That's a string actually. Do you, do you want me to prove it? So let's prove it. Well, I would say here, I would type in enter number so I'll have to enter 
a simple number that can be anything and then along with that I want to add something to it right so we can we can store this input whatever I enter to the program in a variable so suppose x equals to input and then you can print out that value so print x and then also add to it a number suppose 10 right so if I run this program let's see the result so I'm being prompted as enter number so suppose 6 see I got an error why because that x which is referring to input and that input is extracting a, a string from the user so we cannot add a string and an integer the 10 is integer here and the x is basically a string because it's coming down from the input function so that's why I get a type error can only con concatenate str not int to str well that means you cannot add up a string to an integer so in that case we can do type costing so what is type costing well type costing is basically changing modifying the data type of objects you know like like an integer is an object what if I change its data type explicitly to a string so when that's considered as a string then we can add up two strings but how let me show you if I change this one this 10 to a string then I can add x and then 10 because that 10 would be considered as a string as well let me show you to convert an object to string we simply type str in close that value in parentheses so let's run this code again enter number so suppose 5 I get 510 it's basically a 5 a 5 which is coming down from the input function and that is a string and then 10 which was initially an integer but I did the type costing and I converted it into a string so that both of them were considered a string so that's why first I got 5 and then 10 so these both are strings and are being summed up so that's how you work with it now here's another question I want to enter an integer I want to enter an integer and then add some value to it so suppose I want to add 20 to an integer enter number so I'll get the error right because the x will be considered as a string which is coming down from the input and 20 is uh, by itself an integer so in that case what can I do I can type cost the entire input function by typing int and then closing the entire input function uh, in uh, inside of int parenthesis so that would convert the input whatever I provide to the calling program during the execution during the runtime that would be converted into an integer and when I print that integer and also add 20 to it so I'll get the I'll get the this there sum so let's see the program let me run the code record so enter number so suppose 10 I entered 10 I got 30 why when I entered 10 here that was converted which was initially a string that was converted into an integer through int function and then I mean I did the type casting and then I simply printed out that value which was 10 here and also I did add 20 to it so that's why I got 30 that said guys that's how we work with uh, type costing and I would say input function so keep in mind that we almost every programmer has to use input functions 
because that's that's very common i mean very important you have to uh, get values get a uh, different sort of data from the user so then we make use of input function and always keep in mind that you must uh, assign this input function to a variable because if you don't do that then you won't be able to work with it later on on your program like if i don't uh, assign this input function to x so how can i i mean work with it later on how can i add some values to it how can i manipulate it well almost impossible so that was all about input function hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so in the next video we will discuss relational operators right so stay tuned for that video as well if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more we're going to cover all the basics of python so keep in touch i will see you in another one